Welcome back to LabVIEW Basics. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section we're going to talk about debugging. So I've prepared an example for this exercise, and from the LabVIEW Getting Started window, I'll open it from my recent files list. So this VI has a temperature and an LED to indicate when the temperature is over a certain value. But my code isn't working quite like I want. So if we look in the upper left, we'll notice the run arrow is broken. A broken run arrow means that your code can't compile and run because of some error. So the best thing to do when you see a broken run arrow is to click it. When you do that, the error list window comes up and it'll list any errors in your VIs. So in this case, it says you have connected two terminals of different types. To find where that error occurred, I'll just double click the error in the error list and it'll show me on the block diagram. So I can see I have a broken wire here I'm wiring a numeric constant of 50 into my Boolean output, and that's not what I meant to do. So I'll click on this section of wire to delete it, and then wire the output for my comparison into my Boolean. And this is what I wanted originally. Now you can see that my run arrow is solid again, and I'll press Control E to switch to the front panel, and I can run the VI. And if I adjust the temperature and run it again, we'll notice that there's something still wrong. I want the LED to light up when my temperature is over 50, not below it, which it's currently doing. So to figure out why that's happening, let's switch back to the block diagram and I'll use highlight execution mode. By clicking on the little light bulb, I can enable highlight execution and this is going to show me the flow of my program as I run it. So now when I click the run arrow, we can see the value flow out of the temperature and out of our constant into the comparison and then into the warning. So if I run it again, I can see the temperature is 24.63. And that looks right, so that value is being passed correctly. But this comparison's wrong. I'm using a less than here when what I meant to use was a greater than. So I could either flip these two wires or I could replace this. So I'll right click on the less than and choose replace, comparison palette, and greater. Now I'll disable highlight execution and run it again. Now the light's off when I'm under 50 and on when I'm over 50. Great, so that's what I wanted. Let's take a look at a slightly more complicated example. So here in my block diagram, you can see I've cascaded a bunch of add primitives together. And if I click on highlight execution and click run, you can see that even though this is still a relatively simple diagram, it takes a lot longer to execute. You can imagine if I had a really complicated block diagram, highlight execution mode might take a long time to execute. This is especially problematic if the bug you're tracking down is dependent on timing because highlight execution mode changes the speed at which your code executes. So if we want to get to a point in our code without using highlight execution, we can use breakpoints. Breakpoints can be added to any portion of your block diagram. So I'll right click on this wire and choose breakpoint, set breakpoint. Now when I run my code, it'll execute up to that breakpoint and then wait for me to tell it what to do. So let me click run. So you can see that we almost immediately get to that breakpoint, and then the code is paused. So at this point, I can turn on highlight execution mode and click the pause button to let my code run to completion. I'll disable highlight execution mode and run my code again, and when we get to the breakpoint, I can use the single stepping to step through the rest of my code one element at a time until it's complete. We can also use probes to see the value on wires while the program's executing or when it's stopped. So I'll right click on this wire and choose probe. This brings up the probe window and you can see I have one probe, probe five, and the value is not executed because I haven't run my application since I added this probe. So let me go ahead and run it now. And you can see that it still hasn't updated. That's because we still have a breakpoint. The breakpoint stopped our application before the value in that wire was computed. So let me right click and say breakpoint, clear breakpoint, and now I'll unpause my VI. And now you can see my probe updates with the value of 21. I can probe the next wire as well by right clicking and choosing probe. And if I run my VI, you can see now I get the two different probe values. So that should give you an overview of the most common debugging techniques in LabVIEW. In the next section, we'll talk about the different places you can find help in LabVIEW. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.